from Utah's first TV station. ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Good evening and welcome to ABC4 News at 10. I'm Sarah Murphy. And I'm Emily Flores. We thank you for joining us here tonight. We do begin with at least 11 Americans killed and many more taken hostage amid the ongoing war in Israel. Tonight, it concerned Utah parents speaking out as his son studies at BYU Jerusalem. Now, right now, the school is saying that students will continue to stay at the center and continue with their studies. Parents saying they have quite a bit of anxiety and concerns over what's going to happen. And though the school is updating them through text and emails, they say it's not reassuring. The Jerusalem Center classrooms are awesome and the center is awesome. But um, the, the risk of staying when the whole purpose of the program is to be out of the building and out on the sites, that, that with that pur purpose eliminated, I cannot understand why there's a uh, any c compulsion to stay there where it, they are truly in harm's way. Now, police are also ramping up security around Jewish synagogues in the state after several were evacuated for threats during weekend services. Meanwhile, a University of Utah professor in Israel calls the loss of life in his home country unimaginable. You hear the air raid siren, wheel, wheel, you run to shelter and you stay there until the thing um, stops. Don't, it's, you don't need to be outside. It's not a good time to be outside. Now, Professor Guerra, you heard him there. He says he's been touched by all the messages he's received from past and present students during what he says is a difficult time. And the Biden administration saying that it, he is aware that Americans are missing and that they are working with Israeli officials to learn more about their whereabouts. ABC's Matt Gutman is traveling to the region where Hamas militants swept through towns and villages. Here's that report. Tonight, the haunting discovery in a small Israeli town. Videos circulating online showing Hamas militants taking Israeli citizens hostage during a deadly standoff in Be'eri, six miles from the Gaza border. It took Israeli forces two days to fight off those Hamas militants. And when they were gone, the harrowing scenes left behind. Tonight, word of more than 100 bodies found in this tiny farming community. This video posted by Hamas showing bodies on the ground. We travel today to the bullet-scarred town of Sderot, just two miles from the Gaza border, another community under a relentless barrage of Hamas rockets. Inside, 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 inside. Exactly. Obviously, there was a code red. Two minutes. Two minutes. We're going to stay in here for two more minutes. You heard the rockets coming in. That tells you how close you are. There was almost no warning. The Seven okay. seconds to go in the shelter. That's all you have here. So many residents here choosing to leave. Avital telling me that after dozens of her neighbors were killed, she no longer supports peace with the Palestinians. Despite massive opposition to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu here, there has been a sea change in public opinion. Israelis now seem to support almost unanimously the complete eradication of Hamas, both militarily and politically. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Tel Aviv. All right. Thank you, Matt. We do want to let you know that there are going to be multiple gatherings to stand in solidarity with those being impacted by what's happening in Israel. There's an event Tuesday evening at Congregation Kolami in Salt Lake City. And then Wednesday, there will be another rally type event that evening at 5 p.m. at the state capitol. Stick with ABC4 News as we continue to follow the emerging war in Israel. We, of course, will bring you the very latest updates here on air and always online at ABC4.com.